Me and Gabe are just like in shock. Now I'm insecure about it. Guys, I'm old. I have to massage my back to get kinks out of my neck, which is part of the gig. so excited. Makaya is down for a nap so I put on some laundry and I'm just gonna open this package that I got. Basically while we're in LA we went to a friend's house who also has a baby girl and she had this really cool play gym. The brand is called Love Every. Makaya loved it. Speaking of, I was like I really want to get that for her. We had a little play mat but we actually took it to Australia and we left it there and it was really cute. It was from Crate and Barrel. Um, designed by experts for your child's developing brain. Yeah I feel like this one has a lot of like sensory and you'll see what I mean when I set it up. I've been so excited for this to come. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I'm gonna try to set it up. Oh, how good. Uh, I, need, I need your help. I thought it would probably be more. Yeah, that's basically it. My, my, this is not for you, honey. I know it looks like a bunch of toys. Milo, we have a Snuggle Me Organic lounger and we keep it out here near the couch. And Milo thinks it's a dog bed and it's like super cute. It's like nice and snuggly and he fits perfectly in it. And it's just so funny because he's kind of claimed it. And I'm like, Milo, that is not a dog bed. <laughs> Having a dog before a baby is really funny because he has to learn like this stuff isn't for him. You know, I don't know. It must be confusing as a dog. <laughs> thing don't mind this angle i'm just feeding makaya and i thought this is probably the best time for me to talk while she's awake second thing don't mind my hair i was getting a little too eager she was having a really great nap and i was like i'm doing the laundry i set up her plaything. i was like cleaning the kitchen let me do my hair too and then she started to wake up i am going to fix this today i want to take her to a pumpkin patch and i know some people will probably be like she's not even gonna know what it is or like remember but i think it's more like getting to experience these things with her and then also having both and video for her to look back on when she was just a couple months old. I just think it'll be really cute and I've said it before but this is really my first experience of real autumn. Me and Gabe are just like in shock everywhere we drive because the leaves are turning orange and red and it's the most beautiful thing I've ever seen and just where we both grew up in Florida and Australia there really wasn't much autumn. So I think a pumpkin oh. patch would be so fun today. There's one that I found that has like a corn maze and apple cider I think and it's just like all of that is so new to me so we're gonna go do that soon i'll put her in a cute little outfit i love holding her hand you know what i'm not keen for is breastfeeding while teething just talking to someone about that the other day who's going through it i'm like no no way so we're gonna live our little autumn dream today it's like 71 fahrenheit so it's not even like that cold yeah. i'm still really excited the reason i say fahrenheit by the way is that i now understand fahrenheit better than celsius which what the heck jess i don't know like fahrenheit actually makes sense to me in terms of like 80s 70s 60s 50s like that's really easy for me to think about whereas celsius like the temperature changes so much from like 25 to 20 for example anyway i kind of go by fahrenheit now. How un-Australian of me. The last thing I'll say is that I'm so ready for Christmas. I know it's only October. I'm so excited and I was like, I was on different websites yesterday looking at all the Christmas stuff and I'm just so, I've always loved Christmas since I was a kid and the best time of year. But now having Micaiah, I just feel like I get to experience how fun Christmas is as a kid. And again, I know she's only going to be like six months old this Christmas, but just starting these traditions with her. I'm just so excited. So I bought this like wall advent calendar and Christmas PJs and I'm just so excited but I know here in America it's like autumn and then Halloween and then Thanksgiving and then Christmas but for me growing up I never celebrated Halloween. I feel like I've talked about this on YouTube before but in my circles at least and like everyone I knew no one celebrated Halloween like no one trick-or-treated. I remember we bought one packet of Freddos so yum just in 
case people were going to trick or treat. I think I was eight years old and no one came. Each year, just like no one, it just wasn't a thing. In Australia, we don't do Thanksgiving either. So kind of now would be like a normal time to start to get excited for Christmas. Not like put up a Christmas tree, like that's, October is too early. There's like nothing else before Christmas for Australians. So yeah, I'm just getting a bit excited. And also because in Australia, you have a summer Christmas because the seasons are opposite. So now I'm gonna have a winter Christmas. Tennessee will be the coldest I've ever been. Like California, Florida, and then now Tennessee. So this is gonna be my coldest Christmas, which just makes me think of Christmas movies and I don't know. I'm just such a Christmas girl. Anyway, thanks for this chat. I'm gonna put the camera away, finish feeding Makaya, and then show her her little play gym thing. <gasps> um, did you have a good nap? Uh, oh, really? Do you wanna talk about it? Daddy and I got you a little surprise out in the living room. Do you wanna go see what it is? Do the hokey pokey. Do the hokey pokey. You put your right foot in, you put your right foot out. Sleep. Yay, first pumpkin patch. Gabe's here too. Hi, if you could, didn't see me before. <laughs> pumpkin patches to me truly feel like an American movie. I'm still not super used to because it. Because in Australia, you would never go somewhere to pick out pumpkins or have a sandpit made of corn. What was that, what'd you say? A lot of pumpkins. I don't know about you, but pretty big pumpkin guy. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. This looks like awesome American movie feels. Can't wait to bring her back next year and the year after. And do a hayride and pick out pumpkins together. Even though this trip was pretty short-lived and mostly just for our memories, it got me excited for the future. I can't wait to go back. I don't know if you can hear me, but I just put Makaya down. She will feed like once more before going to sleep for the whole night. And like gets to this time, I'm like, oh, I just wanna lay on the bed and do nothing. I should like go do the dishes. It's been a really crazy week with Gabe's book. It's out. That's so crazy. It's out. You can go to like Barnes and Noble. And you can physically have it in your hands. I'm just so proud of him. But he has been working so hard on doing different interviews and different podcasts and promoting the book and stuff like that. So it's been a really big week. I feel really excited. Today's Friday and tomorrow we've, we decided to like have a full rest day. Just take a walk, bake, sit on the couch and just like have a rest day because he really needs one. We just like want good quality time like the three of us all including my life i'm gonna stop talking so makaya like stays asleep but in a good day the pumpkin patch was so cute i just think it'll be really cute like this time next year because she'll understand even more with a two month old there's only like so much you can do okay Friday night over here. Gabe's you know, were making a smoothie. You know what's crazy when you're making a smoothie after dinner? At 8.30 at night. The, the, the issue is, is that I make the most elite smoothie. Even the smoothie you make me with almond butters. It's so good. Gabe's such a chef. Scrambled eggs. So it is scrambled eggs and smoothies. I'll show you what I got from H&M. They had some really cute stuff. I didn't get too much, but Makaya needed some more like PJ onesies. And this one was so cute. It came in a pack of three. So this one, this one, this one. But this one just has little animals on it. So cute. What else? Gabe laughs when I... Well, only because I do this to Gabe. Like I... Yeah, what else did you get? That was one of the things, we're hilarious. You guys should subscribe. And also, I <laughs> What I was gonna say was Gabe laughs because I give him hauls. So he's already seen this haul. He gives me hauls of anything she comes home with ever or any package she gets. Groceries. But she doesn't just tell me like like when she does the groceries, she doesn't just tell me what it is. She like reads everything on every label. 
She's like, look. Yeah, like if it was that coffee. So I'd be like, babe, I also got um, the Brass One Coffee Roasters, bourbon barrel aged Guatemala bourbon. The hype. whole label. She gives <laughs> the whole thing. Unintentionally until Gabe pointed it out. Now I'm insecure about it. I'm insecure. No, I think it's because you're insecure. I'm not going to like your decision. So you try and convince me oh, yeah. of reading the whole label. <laughs> anyway, I got these satin PJs. Honestly, it feels so nice. I've been wanting some black satiny PJs for a while. Dang, sexy. Oh, yeah. Oh. Okay. This won't fit her for a while. This says six months. But how cute is this little set? Oh my gosh. Little trap. That's the cutest. Set. Like around that's Christmas my... time. Oh uh, yeah, it's gonna be a late picture. She'll fit in this. Which is crazy because that's really big. Ooh, and then this is an HM, but this is from Gabe's friend's store called Walk in Love. They just have really cool prints. Joy comes in the morning. It has a smoothie. Really wild out here. Mm -hmm. We're crazy. Yeah. Spiked it. Woo. With a banana. <laughs> okay. <laughs>